With all of this ice, sleet, and bitterly cold weather, plow crews at Ali International have been hard at work since Monday. All this to ensure that nearly 400 UPS flights arrive and depart on time. It's an operation many may not appreciate nor think about. Operations at Tanker 1. During winter weather. Two separate 18 member crews work in coordination on the tarmac at Ali International. We, uh, start at, at 10 p.m. on Monday night and work 12-hour shifts and so they rotate uh, throughout and so we're over 60 hours into this uh, ice and snow event. And if we're being honest, the biggest factor in this storm is certainly the ice that plastered the Ohio Valley. Crews pulling out their biggest snow plows along with lots of chemicals to clear the runways. We've used over uh, uh, 48 tons of solid de-icer and over 40,000 uh, gallons of liquid de-icer on the runways and taxiways, which uh, are 17 miles of runways and taxiways. This coordinated work is so important not only for passenger airlines, but because of their partnership with meteorologists at UPS Whirlport. They track any severe weather down to the minute. This timing so valuable for the nearly 400 daily flights making deliveries across the country and around the world, including delivering the vaccine. The world really depends on us to be open and uh, we are always open and our crew is doing a fantastic job of doing that in this event. But it's not as simple as just clearing the ice. It takes a lot of coordination from the ground to the skies. Doing runway checks, uh, checking the uh, slickness of the runway with our decelerometers and uh, getting those readings and, and feeding them back to the tower, feeding them back to the pilots that are landing so they know uh, what their braking action will be like. It's, it's a really a communication. It's a, like a ballet. Uh, it's all orchestrated uh, with coordination with UPS, our, our airline partners, to make sure that uh, we're doing everything we can uh, to keep them operational and, and delivering goods throughout the world. Stefan Dingle, WLKY News. Excellent.